Hello, dears, and welcome to Al-Husseini Virtual Lab Pathology Talks, Tips and Practical Tips. Today, I'm going to share with you an interesting case of focal nodular hyperplasia of the liver. This is interesting because it occurred in a two-year-old uh, child, and this is a quite unusual. However, the pathological features are quite typical. Now, so this is a core uh, biopsy from the liver target, a liver biopsy from a two-year-old female patient who was discovered to have a, brain, a, a liver lesion. And um, the radiologists were not quite sure about the diagnosis, especially taking into consideration the age. Now, these are three core biopsies with HMTE and then with mass and trichrome. And remember, with focal nodular hyperplasia in particular and in liver biopsies in general, special stains are of great help to support the diagnosis, especially if we're talking about medical liver uh, uh, biopsies, but also about some types of liver lesions. And as you can see, the middle core here, this one shows five process. This is why it's totally blue. And the liver biopsy from both sides show a mixture of fibrosis as well as hepatocytes here. Now, at one end of the liver biopsy, which could not be imaged uh, um, together with the rest of the biopsies is a normal liver tissue. This is an excellent clue that we're talking about a focal rather than a diffuse lesion. Why is that important? Because focal nodular hyperplasia uh, um, morphologically resembles a lot cirrhosis. If we want to differentiate between cirrhosis and focal nodular hyperplasia, one important starting point is to ask whether the a lesion is focal or diffuse. So the presence of normal liver tissue at one side of the biopsy, at one edge of the biopsy, would support that the lesion is focal. Now, going back into the low power magnification, and I'm going to zoom in uh, at this area, but first I would like to pay your attention to the vessels that are present in the um, in the fibrotic core. And even from this low, very low power magnification, I'm going to zoom in into this vessel. And perhaps you can still appreciate that both sides of the vessel wall are not symmetrical. So on high power magnification, this is one side of the vessel wall, this is the other side of the vessel wall, asymmetrical. And this is quite important because vascular dysplasia is an important feature of a focal nodular hyperplasia. And on mass and trichrome, the one side shows <coughs> fibrosis with no evidence of proliferation of spindle cells. The other side is thickened. So they are asymmetrical. Excellent clue for the diagnosis of focal nodular hyperplasia. And I'm going to zoom in into this area in particular, and I'm going to focus again on another dysplastic vessel. To me, it looks like a head with a turban, a head with a turban. So one side is thickened, the other side is completely thin. And this is important as this is the feature of this plastic vessels that is uh, mentioned usually in association with focal nodular hyperplasia. And again, on higher power, you can appreciate the thickness of the polar thickness of the wall of the vessel and with the mass and trichrome versus the very thin uh, wall on the opposite side. Excellent clue to the diagnosis. Now, what about the hepatocytes? The hepatocytes, and I'm going to zoom, zoom in here uh, in a Y, the fiber septi in general that uh, forms the core of the focal nodular hyperplasia would show inflammation, bacterial proliferation, and the hepatocytes would uh, feature some cholestatic changes. So we can see feathery degeneration of the hepatocytes. And again, it's very clear on the mass and trichrome. And then inflammation, some small vessels, some ductules, but no ducts are identified. So it is allowable to see some changes in the hepatocytes, again, reminiscent of cirrhosis. But remember, this is a focal lesion. So to wrap up with focal nodular 
hyperplasia, you would expect to see a focal lesion versus diffuse involvement in the case of cirrhosis. And this piece of information can usually be obtained either from the clinical notes or from radiological notes. And then if you pay enough attention, you might encounter normal liver at the edge of the biopsy. Number two clue important are the dysplastic vessels because these are actually excellent clue. And what do we mean by dysplastic vessels? One side is thickened, the other side is normal, like polarity or asymmetry. And then within the fibrous septi, I can see inflammatory cells, ductular proliferation, but no ducts. And the hepatocytes can show some cholestatic changes usually arranged in two cell uh, thickness plates, but not more than that. However, this might sometimes be difficult to judge on. What we really need to pay attention is the rest of the morphological features as I shared with you. I hope you find this tip useful in your daily practice. Thank you.